We finally have it. We have approval. Yes, I'm reading the press statement right now from the SEC webpage. Hopefully this is a real statement and, and the website has not been hacked or compromised, but it looks legit. And yes, 10 ETFs have been approved. Gary finally gave us what we all asked for. And today it's the 10th. He waited until the very last moment to give us ETF approvals. Here's the thing though. There's a couple of things that are very weird. Number one, if you read through the statement, I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but I'm going to summarize. Basically, he said, due to the Grayscale lawsuit, because the SEC lost, SEC did not provide any good reason why they shouldn't be able to convert their trust into ETFs. Um, that's why he's compelled to do this. Basically, that's the reason. Not because he thinks the market is mature, not because he thinks investors are asking for it, not because the funds, you know, they, they gave any good reason for it. No, why Gary did this was because they lost. The SEC lost its lawsuit and they basically he's saying, I'm, I'm forced to do this. So if you read through the press statement, it's so, so bearish. For, for a monumental approval like this, I, I don't know if I've ever seen such bearish, <laughs> such bearishness within, and he's still talking about how he believes most crypto are still securities. Um, you know, this, this is no way is the SEC endorsing Bitcoin. Uh, there's just so much bearishness in this. And he also says, you know, other funds or ETPs, he calls them ETPs, not ETFs, but he's like other ETPs, right? They got to make sure they're, they have commodities inside, not securities, because he still believes everything is security, which basically makes it seem like ETH, ETH getting a spy ETFs may be difficult. Same thing with XRP, especially and others. I don't know. It's just so, so bearish. So, I mean, it's, it's just wild. And, and look at this. Here's the other thing. Bitcoin's price has not really moved. Today, we have a lot of wild swing up and down, up and down. In terms of, you know, in terms of longs and shorts, getting wrecked both ways, right? But Bitcoin is holding right around 46. We could definitely see this swing upwards, you know, by tonight. I think people are still trying to digest this or they're sick of it, or they don't know if this is a real statement from the SEC, because yesterday we got approval and somehow it was deemed uh, you know, a compromise, a hack, right? So hopefully this is real, that we now have 10 ETFs ready to go. He also did say that he allows 10 ETFs to be approved simultaneously, so none none of them have a first mover advantage. Okay, so tomorrow it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be wild. It's gonna be really interesting when all these start trading. But what's more interesting is Bitcoin's price action. We didn't pump or dump. It's holding steady. But if I had to guess, if I had to play some longs or shorts right now, if I had to choose, I'd play some longs. I think tonight. This is going to rock. I think we're gonna start seeing a big wave. If it was buy the rumor, sell the news, which a lot of people think it could be, I think we would have saw a big dump, but we didn't. So it's kind of like neutral. I think the market's kind of you know trying to digest, is this a good thing or not? Is this a real thing? I think it's real. And I think it's gonna be very bullish, guys. So tonight, make sure you tune in. Uh, I'm gonna have a lot more to say. We'll see where the price is. Is Bitcoin gonna start skyrocketing? What about others? I'm starting to notice a lot of alts go up. Solana's going up. Injective is going up. A lot of alts are starting to go up. So is the money actually flowing in to Bitcoin or is the money flowing out of Bitcoin into the alts, right? There'll be a lot to discuss tonight, guys. So make sure you tune in 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.